small rig and potato jet make a tripod together called Tribex. You're watching Cinity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi guys, Cinity here at NAB 2024. I'm here with Gene, aka Potato Jet at Small Rig. How are you? Doing fantastic. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a million people behind the camera waiting to talk to you, so I'm gonna, you know, make it fast. <laughs> um, so you have your own product now. What yeah. is what is this? Yeah, so this is a tripod that, uh, it's kind of what a tripod that I've always dreamed of, but we've spent the last while just making it. And really it's just a tripod designed to be very fast and efficient because we're always losing the light and you always have a director in your ear going, why are you so slow? Get that shot quickly. And Britney Spears is over there in the corner like complaining, like even though she was the one that was late. So that's why we're behind schedule in the first place. But anyways, <laughs> I digress. We just set it up. I want to know details about that, but okay. <laughs> it's not a true story, actually. I wish I knew Britney Spears, <laughs> but I actually don't. I, I'm a total liar, but. So very cool. So how do you, oh, interesting. So that it's a quick release on top? Yeah, so I'll, I'll bring it up to show the camera. But yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's, the, that's, the seek, that's the good stuff right there. That is uh, the X-Clutch system. So, you know, you can fold down into a grip, but whenever you want to adjust height, you pop it out and basically you grip it and it releases all legs in all stages. So makes uh, the setup process a little bit easier. In fact, it is a kind of different kind of flow tech. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like it's, uh, I do love the Flowtex. I've used that professionally for years and uh, it's an awesome tripod, but uh, now we really wanted to focus on something that I'm like, I'm finding myself using a lot of smaller cameras these days. You know, now it's like the FX3 and FX6 and yeah. maybe the FX9 or C70 Blackmagic. Like we are, we're seeing so many great cameras come out for like smaller sizes. So I really wanted to have something that's compact enough to just throw in a suitcase. So we made sure the dimensions will fit in a standard suitcase so you don't have to travel with an extra, you know, case just for the tripod. Uh, I well, hate yeah, the quick release is brilliant because usually when you have these telescopic legs, I mean, it's a lot of screwing, a lot of like individual kind of thing pulling out and takes you ages. So this is super fast. Yeah. And yeah. also another thing is, uh, another thing is usually you set up the legs and then you have to balance the head. Yeah. But when we, when we were trying that with different prototypes in terms of how should we balance the head, I always found that it's actually always faster to just grab the clutch and then adjust the tilt. So if you set it up. If you have a clutch, which you don't normally don't have. So. <laughs> exactly. So after doing that for a while, we kind of realized actually the fastest way to get this thing up and going is actually just to combine it so that the X clutch will actually set up the height of the tripod, but also you just keep an eye on the bubble level. And when you release it, you're not just set up for your height, but also for the level. And that's just what I'm all about is just trying to make as few steps as possible from getting from your waist level shot to your eye level to the next shot. Like, and also, um, also, the, uh, also each leg is independently controlled. So uh, it's actually great for uneven terrain. We actually named it after an Alpine Ibex. So it's Tribex, get it, huh? Clever, huh? Also, actually the names we really wanted were taken and trademarked, but you yeah. <laughs> know, we'll, we'll not mention that part. But no, we're, uh, the Alpine Ibex is really cool because they're, they're mountain animals that are really agile. If you're interested in just going down some rabbit hole, next time you're taking a poop and you have your phone, watch that. It's actually really, they're really amazing what they can do actually. And we put some B-roll of the animals too over that. Yeah, yeah, they're really impressive animals, but you know, they have hooves that can like clamp, like oh, okay. basically hook onto like any little sliver of a wall. But essentially, um, this is, this is, this is, it's cool to be able to show it here on, you know, like more of a studio environment, but it really shines when you take it out into the field and you actually see in this photo, you know, we have uneven terrain, but the, it, having uneven terrain or setting it up in tighter spaces, it doesn't actually make any difference with this system because you squeeze it and all the legs go where they need to go. Awesome, and the, what about the head? The head, so we, our goal for the head was to create a head that is as compact as possible because we really want it to be lightweight and travel friendly, but still fluid. That has definitely been a challenge to take a lot of what we wanted in here, like a counterbalance. Like for me, I really want a counterbalance in here because I want to be able to unlock this and not worry about the camera tipping over, right? So that as well as giving it the, the friction and tension it needs. And we basically wanted to compress it down. So it's uh, passport friendly. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> Very nice. So how much is that set and is it available already? 
So we're kind of on the final stages right now. We're just doing some minor tweaks and making a few adjustments. And once that's ready, then we'll be able to really lock in pricing. It definitely is a professional product, so it's not going to be super cheap, but we are trying to figure out how to build it so it doesn't really lose its quality and still has good performance and affordable to everybody. How low can it go and how high? Uh, so max height, I can show you right now. Um, I actually don't really know the specs. It's on a brochure, which is, oh, I should lock that. Just, um, just roughly to see, yeah. Uh, yeah, so max height is right here if you feel comfortable sending that center column all the way up. Uh, and then bottom, you could actually remove the center column right here by loosening this screw. And then uh, these legs go, you know, straight out and you could drop it down. All the way down, yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, uh, but in terms of doing it fast, we can just bring it down to this level here. And if you need it lower, that's when you need to either widen out these legs a little bit like that or take off the head and really just slam it against the ground. Awesome. Great product. I, I love the clutch. I mean, yeah, that's Thanks. super fast. I think actually we have to call it the X clutch for trademark reason. Yeah. Tra <laughs> Naming the tripod is half the battle, actually. Yeah. You, can't, you think of something? We had a good... Somebody else has registered it already yeah, for something like, that was never released, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, um, yeah, this is, this, is, this is a cool thing that Small Rig does. This is a cool thing that Small Rig does where you can switch between a standard Manfrotto style plate and uh, RS3, RS4 gimbal. So basically, it's designed to be able to switch. Oh, I hate that I can't put the RS on a standard Manfrotto. You always have to swap the plate. Yeah, which is super frustrating, but you could switch it here. So you could go straight from your gimbal straight onto here, and you don't have to worry about slipping off even if you forget to tighten this or whatever. So. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a really cool product. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. yeah. Thank Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinity for lots more videos from NAB 2024. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You probably already subscribed to his one, so subscribe to ours.